We're heading up to Patang today. We're looking for one of the last remnants of the uh, Japanese occupation here in uh, near Bacolod. And we're looking for a big tour gun, but uh, I'm not too sure what we're gonna find. We're heading up here, we're past the big main highway and we're pretty much going up towards the mountains now. So let's see what we find. All right, so we're pretty close to this uh, Japanese gun turret. We are pretty high in the mountains right now. Have a little stop, a little break. And we found this epic spot here. Look at this. Crazy view. Got rice terraces all over the place. My camera's going a little crazy. I think my lens is dying on me. All right, so we just made it to the Patang Recreational Center. And this is the area where the Japanese gun is. Looks like a nice little park here. Got a swimming pool. Nice little spot to take the family for a little picnic or something. Or a little overnight camping trip. Looks pretty peaceful. We're just signing up, it's a 10 peso entry fee per person, so only 20 pesos to get in. Check out the area. Old hospital? Uh, the barangay? Or like during the war? No, I think it's not. During the war, I think. Just the gun there? Yeah. This is the old hospital, I guess. It's abandoned. And here she is. The gun turret. <laughs> so yeah, it's about, I'd say, an hour and a half drive from Bacolod. So you gotta drive pretty far on the straight roads. And uh, through the mountains, it's actually a really nice drive. Nice and curvy roads for the bike. So it's pretty fun to cruise up here. Uh, the road conditions are pretty decent. There's a few spots where you gotta go pretty slow. It's really bumpy and whatnot. But we made it. Mission complete. This is the the Japanese, one of the last remaining Japanese relics of the war. And uh, yeah, pretty crazy little piece of history right here. Still spins. Yeah. Wow. It still spins pretty damn good. Crazy dogs. Crazy. For tuberculosis. For no treatment of tuberculosis. The Salai hero? Yeah, he's a Japanese. Uh -huh. Yeah, so we're on our way to the shrine here. And I guess right here is actually a Japanese sign. You can see that. I'm 
It's just like a five minute walk down the hill here, I guess, or five, ten minute walk, so not too far. Yeah, there's some more Japanese shrines. I guess this is where they'd come and pray or something. Japanese Filipino. Ha Jap Filipino. Uh -huh. He's an American soldier who died for peace during the Second World War. This Japanese shrine is a memory memory of Japanese, Filipino, and American soldiers who died for peace during the Second World War. So we just got done checking out the temple, and I guess the temple was made not by the Japanese, but in memory of the all the soldiers that fought and died during the war. This this turret gun is actually an anti-aircraft turret gun, and they found it in one of the caves. And I guess there's numerous caves up the mountains and uh, in the surrounding areas. There's lots of big caves. Some of them are too dangerous to actually explore because they're full of water and landslides happen and stuff. So. They're too dangerous to actually go splunking in. There was about 1,000 or more Japanese soldiers in just this area here. Um, you could see why they'd have a base here. It's a very good lookout. I'll take you guys over here. So yeah, as you can see, it's a very flat area here. And you can see why it would be a good lookout spot to look for the enemy coming. Uh, trying to flank you and stuff because you're pretty high in the mountains here. So one of our next uh, missions of this uh, documentary is we're going to go up to one of the last strongholds caves that the Japanese actually held out in and it's pretty famous for like a I think there was a mass suicide there so we're going to go check that out on a later date for today I think this is all we're going to be checking out it's a pretty pretty long drive so I think we need a full day to go check out the caves Well, that's it for a little excursion up here in the mountains. Mission complete. We found the anti-aircraft turret, so pretty happy about that. And it's pretty good condition too. I guess it's German built. All right, so I think we got all the shots we need. Got the drone up, got some time lapses, got some glad cam shots. And it's about sundown in about hour and a half, so I think we better get off the mountain before it starts raining or something. We don't have the waterproof uh, bag for our backpacks here, so it could be a little dangerous if it starts raining. But yeah, it looks like a really nice place to come over and do a little camping or something. Cold. Yeah, the weather's kind of cold, so if it starts raining, it might be really cold. <laughs> but all in all, pretty good day, and uh, I think we're gonna get off the hill just in time. Got the bike here, all ready to go. Look at the tree.
I'm not too sure how good you guys can hear me, but man, look at this view here. Holy shit. We had to stop here. It's all like nice little, uh, it's all nice uh, sugarcane terraces all the way down this hill. It looks so beautiful. Look at the mountain there. Got awesome clouds. We were kind of rushing our way up here and now we're kind of taking our time going back down and getting some shots of it. Man, it looks so nice up here. Here's a little interesting piece of history here. There is about three or four of these train tracks all the way up, about halfway up the mountain up there where we just came and these are the old train tracks where they used to load up the sugarcane and take it down to Bacolod so it doesn't look like they're used anymore but pretty cool little piece of history.